the wonderful work that Robert did here as a student, how much he was very much part of our community, and how he earned this stuff, this, excuse me. I worked very hard for his degree. I was very close to receiving it, and I'm very, I'm very pleased to be able to award this degree. I know it's a bittersweet occasion, but it's something that needs to be done. You need to recognize student achievement and their work, and so I'm so pleased that you would come here and we'll be able to do this today. And I like to award this to you. We'll take a lot of photographs so we can decide who gets to take what and where and all of that. Uh, but this is Robert's degree, and I want to present it to you uh, and say uh, how proud we were that Robert was a student here and had his friends here. And we're going to take some more photographs here before we all tear up too much. Okay. Um, you want to instruct us on anything else you'd like us to do here for photographs? And I know we have other people. Um, say some if you words. wanted to get another big family shot, how would you like to do it? Well, we have um, Robert's sister and his grandparents here in particular. And I can also step out of this picture, so. No, 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 you stay in there. <laughs> you want me in the picture? Yeah, I want to make sure yeah. you, you get them where you want them. I have a couple of out in the. Just talking them around, I didn't have them in uh, any of my classes. But I talked to several colleagues uh, about him, and to a person, uh, everyone described him as, as kind intelligent, caring, and had an impeccable taste in pop music. A couple of colleagues really like that and it's worked for the radio. And I know I speak for the entire department when I say how proud we are for Bobby. And I know it's, a, as Carl said, a time of, of, of loss, but it's also a time of celebration in the department. We're very proud of him and we're just so delighted that he gets the degree he so earned. And I'd like to turn it over to David Bottoms, Poet Laureate. Oh, to my gorgeous. <laughs> and a dear friend and colleague. Well, I, I just, a, just a couple of things, and, and, and I thought about what to say. What do you say? Uh, I didn't uh, know Bobby either, but uh, I do feel like I've uh, learned a good deal about him uh, from, from Kathy, who I've known, uh, and, and, and cherished you in, in classes. Uh, you've just been just super. And uh, also, I think I, I've known, uh, learned a lot about him from his poems, Kathy. Uh, gave me several of his poems to read. Uh, and I, I must tell you that I was I've been terrifically impressed. He was a young man with just a great deal of promise. And a uh, young writer with a lot of promise. Uh, his poems show this uh, clearly. He, he had learned, I think, already at this age, the best thing that any writer can learn about language. And that is that he had learned how to use language to get at what was most important in his life, what was significant. And he had learned to use language as a search for meaning in his life. Uh, I might add just one quick thing. I have a poem of Bobby, so I'm going to read a short poem. Uh, I think he'd also learned quite a lot about the world, uh, about human folly and about human frailty. And uh, he has, I'm going to read a little poem that uh, Kathy gave me. It's called Three Views of a Cock, a Rooster. <laughs> Uh, which is about a piece of folk art uh, that he was fond of. And this is a ceramic plate, uh, a, a very interesting piece with, with a big rooster on it and a moon, and then in the background, uh, the little village sort of coming in, into, uh, into the scene here. And the poem proceeds in an interesting way that the first stanza and a half just give this really good description uh, of the scene, what you see on the plate, but then something remarkable happens. He makes a really interesting, imaginative leap back halfway across the world and back 2,000 years until to the night uh, of, uh, of Jesus' betrayal uh, and uh, Peter's three denials when the three uh, cock, uh, uh, cock crowed uh, three times. And he has a little, um, an epigraph here from the book of Mark in his poem. Uh, and it goes, even this night, before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times. This is uh, Bobby's three views of the cock. With the stars hiding behind thin wisps of cloud, and only the moon to light the scene, everything is the color of bone, except the sky of vivid blue. A clue to what's been lost. Towering over the clouds and moon, the rooster woos the pale goddess. His tail feathers spread like a peacock's enticing, huddled in the corner like a lost child who wanders into the conversation. The little town observes the end of an age in silence. 
The story comes in scratches like old vinyl. An allusion to his loving of music. I just love that. The story comes in scratches like old vinyl. The steeple of the small town like a needle plays the moon. And the cock croons along in ecstasy. The four feathers of his tail hypnotically waving to the wind's beat. Peter would have found comfort in vinyl. Miraculous for a time, obsolete forever. I'm sure he meant dawn as the deadline. Capital T. I'm sure he meant dawn as the deadline. Yet I have always pictured the betrayal late at night with Christ in custody. The murmurs fly faster than blood of the cockfight. The first denial draws a crow. The second follows like an afterthought. The third must come with a pause, knowing that this is the foretold betrayal. And then, in the distance, a cock sounds Simon Peter's doom, adding insult to injury. The cock is early, as if to say, you did not even need the entire night. I love that last line, you did not even need the entire night. I think that's a remarkable insight for a for anyone this young uh, to have learned that much about the human character, the, the frailty of the human character. And it tells me that, that Bobby was a deep and a thoughtful spirit, and we were blessed to have him. Thank you. It's important, very important. Uh, important to me, important to you. So, so happy to have you here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And we have some refreshments. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank